It also helps to have the proper tools on hand. An avid gardener's arsenal can contain everything from shears, trimmers and pruners, to rakes, hoes and spades. The handles of these garden tools are made of white ash, a sturdy wood that can withstand the force of shoveling, digging or raking. These dried ash dowels measure half a metre to two metres long, depending on the tool being made. They first enter what's called the chucking line, where specially designed machines shape them into handles. The first operation rounds the dowels to the required diameter, depending on the tool. The next operation cuts the dowels to the required length and profiles their ends. Two chucking heads, one on each side, carve the ends simultaneously. For inserted blades, another chucking head hollows out the handle. Meanwhile, the chucking head on the other side rounds off the top of the handle. The finished handles spin against a sanding belt as they exit the chucking line. This smooths the surface of the wood, preparing the handles for a coat of protective varnish. High-end shovels and spades have what's called a steel D-grip, a steel handle grip with a wooden insert. An automated lathe shapes a piece of ash to the right length and profile. Then an automated drill pierces a hole. To make the sides of the grip, Workers begin with two pre-cut pieces of steel, called blanks. They place them in a manually operated press that shapes them in a two-step process. They use the heat of a strong electrical current to melt the steel and fuse the pieces together. This is called resistance welding. Next, workers feed a steel rivet through the sides and wooden insert and fasten everything together. Elsewhere in the factory, a heated forming machine stamps out the steel blanks that workers will shape into blades. A robotic arm loads the blanks into an oven. In a mere four minutes, the oven heats the steel to almost a thousand degrees Celsius. The intense heat makes the metal malleable. Workers then take out and shape one blank at a time. They have just a few seconds to form the steel before it cools off. The first press forms the blade, in this case a shovel and a partial socket. The second press closes the socket. Workers quickly submerge the blade in lukewarm water to cool the metal down. By now the steel is extremely brittle, so the blades go into what's called a tempering furnace for 15 minutes. This alters the metal's internal structure, restoring its strength. The steel D-grip, meanwhile, has been cleaned and painted. Workers insert the wooden handle and nail the parts together. On the other end, they attach the blade, which by now has been varnished to prevent corrosion. After drilling a hole through both the metal and the wood, the blade is fastened using a rivet if it's a high-end tool, a nail if it's a budget model. These garden tools are finally ready to put in a hard day's work.